Welcome back everyone to Super Mario 64 All-Stars Collection. We have got to go down here and flush out the water so that we can continue Big Boo's hunt. And uh, in order to do that we have to go down here and get the invisibility power so that we can uh, kill all the eyeballs because there's one behind that area. I wonder if I can catch this guy real quick. Oh man, he's so fast. Oh gosh, he's so hard to try and catch this thing. Oh no, I didn't think about him turning. See, this game, it's actually tricky to catch this dude, whereas in later games, uh, Galaxy, it's so much easier. Oh, I thought I had him. Because there's actually, if you... Like, I think if you wanted to, you could just grab this guy. And if you do something a certain way, you're supposed to be able to, like, put him through the door or something. you can do this. I've done it before. I don't know if you can do it in this version or not. It's been so long I don't even remember how you do it properly. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got a crap... Look how depressed he gets, though, when you catch him. Like, his life just has no purpose anymore. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. Yeah, look at this. Dude's just... No purpose at all. Life is meaningless. Mario got him. That was his only purpose in life, was to run away from you. And we took that from him. But regardless, we have a power star out of it. Now, does this let me just continue? Okay, yeah. So it does let us continue even after we got the Power Star. I wasn't sure if it would or not. Man, I really wish I remember how you get him to go through doors. Alright, so if we talk to this guy right here, I think he gives us a Power Star as well. Hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll get injured. Yes, okay, I was right. And that's how you get a bunch of power stars in like two seconds if you wanted to. Now I'm trying to recall if that's the only... I can't remember if that's the only version of Toad that does that or if there's another one that gives you a star. I know that one specifically I can remember. But I don't know about the others. All right, so here we are. Flush it down. That's one fast drain, I gotta say. Don't know where they're getting their uh, plumbing done, but I guess Mario. But he installed some good plumbing, if that's the case. Cause man, okay, so I'm not gonna take all day with this. There are eight coins that we could technically go and look to gather. 
but I'm not going to worry about that. that. I just want to activate this thing so we can get back to our... Uh, wait, I already did two jumps? No. Stay on there. Okay, I wasn't sure what we were doing. Okay, let me get a front angle here. There we go. I think these things flip, don't they? Yes. Yes, they flip. How do I get on these? Like that? And there it is. You stepped on the Vanish Cap switch. The Vanish Cap makes Mario disappear. Now Vanish Caps will pop up from blocks you find. Blue blocks you find. Awesome. So now with this power, we almost fell. That's a lucky save for us. So normally we could get the star if I did the eight red coins, but I don't care about that. Let's get back over there and do the eyeball stuff again. Probably wasn't the fastest way to go. Okay, let me see. I think I need to go... Yeah, here we are. get those eyeballs again and that that right there is the star door that we can already open if we felt like it get me in there let's get that number 35 Alright, so I'll get this one done much faster than last time, because I know where they all are. So it's not as big of an issue. Hello, eyeball friend. You can't handle my power. One down, just a few to go. Let's go in here, I think. No, no, no. Too early. It was this one. And the one straight across from it. Get out of my way, you stupid ghost. Got that. And now, two more to go, I believe. Is that what it was? Oh, man, Mario, you could have got up there. Oh wait, that's right, it's not straight across from here. It was in here, right? It was this room, right here. Then he'll pop. And now this one, this is a little annoying if you don't get this jump right. Wait, was there a blue, wait, hang on, is there a blue block up here? Or do I have to do the jump perfectly? Ah, oh, yeah, that's what it was. I, I, I thought that's what it was. So I have to do that jump perfectly. One miss and we might not make it. Weird, I have invisibility powers, but... God! How did that open so fast? That's not... God, that's so annoying, dude. 
I don't remember ever falling down that fast. Usually there's like a little bit of a just a small crack or something. You don't normally just fall straight down there, do you? Anyways, what I was about to say is I find it funny how we have invisibility powers, but I still have to open doors. Like, you would think I could just go through walls and everything. But, if they did that, it would, uh, it would break the game because if we did that, I couldn't bounce off walls. So, I could never get there. They'd have to put the block up top. Okay, I'm going to try and do this a little faster this time by not falling. Oh yeah, we got it. Easy. And there it is. The hidden man behind the wall. It's the biggest one too. We might have only had to kill this one. Given the size of it, it might have just been take that one out. So I probably wasted time killing the others, but whatever. Because it's even behind the secret door, so I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, I've only had to deal with that one. But whatever. Save and continue. How many more do I have in here? I don't think... There might be like one more in here. Maybe. No, we got them all. Okay, so I got all of the coins in here. So I'll just move on because I don't really... I don't want to waste time collecting eight or a hundred coins. So I guess now... I can go down here and mess around with some of these levels. Since we knocked out that so easy. Or, if I wanted to, I could take on Bowser's little water level, but I don't really like that level at all. Let's go to hell, shall we? Boil the big bully. Okay. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's for one on one with a fiery finish for the loser. Sounds great. Fiery finish for the loser. Okay, not what I wanted. Oh, no. Back off. Back off, boy. I'm the king of this jungle, not you. Oh, yes. Give me that power star. Yeah, here we go. 36 power stars, because that's just how we do it. Speed run systems. Okay, so... I think we got time for one more star. Uh, okay, so the bully. Bully the bullies. Okay, this one's kind of cool. It's basically the same thing as the last one. It's just instead of fighting one of them, we're fighting a bunch of small versions and then the big version. Oh, boy. Uh, get on there. Get on that platform. We can save this. I don't know. Is this the right... I don't think this is the right platform. No, it's not. Because it's more than just two of them. It's over here. Ah. Whew. No. Slow down. Hang on. Let's go over here. Ah. Uh, it's like a little... Got him. Now, your turn. And then the big guy. We're just going to let him come to us. Oh. 
Boom. Alright. So that was like, what, five power stars? Because we got three regular ones, and then we got the two easy ones. So yeah, five power stars this episode. Awesome. So I'm going to end this episode here, since we're just killing it in Mario 64. And I will see you all in the next one, where we shall continue on in the gates of hell. So see you all then.